Now we come to our final quick fire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you can make your way to the performance area, please. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. OK, here we go. The first subject is lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi film. We've discovered an alien queen, and she's laid enough eggs to take over the galaxy. This writing, it says, Katona. <laughs> <laughs> I am C-3PO. This is my cousin, WD-40. <laughs> All right, Chewie, you look different after that back sack and crack wax. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is my brother, Obi Careful, my sister, Obi Have. <laughs> my dog, Obi a sport. <laughs> Use the force, Luke. I've run out of lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's right. We aliens have learned your language by uh, listening to your radio broadcasts. <laughs> the androids are going berserk, Captain. Let's try switching them off and then on again. <laughs> 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 Start 821.71.6. Captain's log. Still won't flush. I'll try again later. <laughs> Vader, you look like a big black dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, um, I've been repeatedly firing this laser at that alien, uh, but all I've managed to do is improve its eyesight and give it a Brazilian. <laughs> It's not easy being a Vulcan, Captain. <laughs> Due to my death grip, I can't masturbate. <laughs> Had that hairball in there for years. <laughs> <laughs> You're loving Chewy. I need to break into the Death Star's computer system. Who knows Darth Maul's mother's maiden name? <laughs> Captain, the ethereal sounds being made by this beautiful dying creature from another world is some funky shit! <laughs> OK, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on the radio. In that episode of the Hugh Dennis story, <laughs> Hugh Dennis was played by Bruce Willis, Steve Punt was played by Hugh Dennis, and the band was Shawaddy Waddy. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> you touch my turnips and I'll fuck you up. <laughs> and now for a travel update. There is an accident on the M1. It's a good one, so hurry up. <laughs> There's flames and everything. <laughs> Next, a book at bedtime. Martin Jarvis reads the speeches of Hitler in a high-pitched girl's voice. <laughs> good afternoon, this is Radio 4, and I have a regional accent. <laughs> <laughs> Next on Radio 4, the dogging forecast. <laughs> Here on Traffic Watch, we're predicting long delays on the M4 where I'm about to hit my ex-wife's car with this helicopter. <laughs> and now it's the panel show where our panel try to stave off premature ejaculation. Yes, it's just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> This is breakfast with Tony Blackburn. I'm not actually on the radio. I've broken into your kitchen. Do you want toast? <laughs> <laughs> Next, more lesbian propaganda with Woman's Hour. <laughs> well, you've certainly stumped the Gardener's Question Time panel. None of us know how to bring a fox to orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Heart FM. The same five songs all day long. <laughs> 6 a.m. Welcome to the breakfast show. Who's up at 6 a.m.? <laughs> My wife's leaving me. <laughs> My dad didn't get up at 6 a.m. and he was a fucking miner. <laughs> 
Okay, then that round of points go to Frankie Hugh and Michael.